All right, so I'm gonna clean up the bolts so I can get the shield, dust shield off. I never understood the word dust shield when it gets full of dirt and debris. Never understood that. But just more parts and stuff to clean. Take the dirt off. I get to use my own tools, not just him. Yep, right way. Oh. All that dirt. Now I'm understanding why Eric don't like the mud. I still like the mud. Hey, what you doing? Well, I gotta take your uh, dirt hey, shield take off. Take the dust shield off, the brake anchor, and the spindle cone? Yeah. Okay. I have another nut stuck in the socket, but. Well, just thread it on a couple of threads and pull it out. It doesn't work that way, I tried. It's too stubborn. Like that. Nope, lost the nut. <laughs> don't know how to hold on the nuts? Nope, I don't. But I'm going to go truck. Yeah, I don't want to walk around. Oh, and stuck on a little bit? Yeah, and I don't want to hit it too hard because I don't want to bend it. That's what it anyway. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to take the... Break anchor off? Yeah. Yeah, grab your hammer. You can tap on that one back here. Yeah. There you go. Got the top now. Yep. There we go. Excellent. Now, the Look spindle cone, there is a puller for this, and I do have one, but these have been on and off so many times. Oh! That, but this is why we're taking it apart, just because it is stuck in the Torrington bearing. Or the spindle cone bearing. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, she's really stuck in there. I didn't do it. No, you didn't. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to get that out. Oh, looks like we're losing a clip on a oh. on a U joint too. And you broke something. Oh no, just dirt coming off. All right, so we'll have to take that apart, <laughs> fix all that. This is from Mass Off Road Recovery. <laughs> Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Oh, I think I know what this is. We better get everybody here before we open this. Boy, I hate texting. I'm no good at this. Hey, Gene, just got, there we go, an envelope from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Stop by to see what it is. There we go. So where is cameraman Gene? Cameraman Gene uh, is headed to Duluth to uh, watch the start of the uh, John Bear Grease um, Sled Dog Marathon. Uh, it is one of the qualifiers for the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. It's a balmy 12 below. Stopped at Quick Trip. Got my coffee, my breakfast pizza. <laughs> Jennifer 
more excited dogs to the starting line. This evening with two mushers in a meet and greet, and that's all it took, and now she's hooked. Mary Manning wearing bib number 10 from Hotland, Minnesota. Best of luck on the John Bairbury Sled Dog Marathon. And here we're coming into downtown Superior. Uh, awfully quiet. Now we're going to be headed uh, south on Highway 35. Uh, Wisconsin 35. Uh, lots of lonely road here, but uh, it is a uh, quick way to uh, the uh, Eric and the BSF Recovery Team headquarters, branch, whatever you want to call it. You know, we keep doing this, we're going to have to get some seasoning to keep out here. We call these garage burgers because we cook them in the garage. Okay, so Blake's on the phone. Everybody else is here? Yeah. All right, we're going to open it up. Oh, look at this. That's what I thought. Matt's off road recovery, golden ticket. Yippee! There's no chocolate. Ain't there supposed to be some chocolate of some sort? <laughs> I thought there was supposed to be chocolate. I think you may have to bring that up with Matt and see if he's got a complaint yeah. department. There's <laughs> supposed to be chocolate. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you in March. Excellent. When That's is it again? March 9th, 10th, and 11th in yeah, Sand it's... in Sand Hollow, Hurricane, Utah. About an hour and a half from Las Vegas, isn't it? Yeah, about an hour and a half from Las Vegas. Ooh, we need a spotter. You know somebody in Vegas that could be a spotter for us, don't you? I do. My, my trail son! Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to call Gabe and see if he'll uh, be willing to be a spotter for us. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be competing against uh, Matt, of course, and Rory, and Paul, and... Merlin, isn't it? Merlin, yep. Merlin was the one who got the uh, yeah the other golden ticket. Yep. Now this is interesting. There's three guys that are familiar with their tow trucks. You, yes. Rory, and Merlin. Right. What about this Matt and Paul? Matt Wonder what's Paul, going on there. <laughs> they're building brand new tow trucks. I have no idea how well they're going to work. They don't either. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's to our advantage. <laughs> yes, it is. That'll be good. Well, we'll have a lot what, of work to do on Wrecker. What kind of tow truck does Merlin have? Merlin, I believe, is a Chevro an old military Chevrolet cab uh, powered by a Cummins diesel. Um, manual transmission. I think, yes, manual transmission. And uh, he has a... Uh, no box on the back uh, with a boom, and I think he's running some big super swamper tires. Yep. Yep. So, so I haven't seen much video. I've seen him do a few recoveries in videos, uh, so we'll have to see. Yeah. I don't know what his experience is like. I know Rory's experience is real good. Yeah, but keep in mind, everybody's in a different territory. That's right. You know. Well, you know, you're upper Matt's Midwest, backyard. but the thing is, is you've been to both backyards, I have. both Rory's and Matt's. I have. So I have. And we, uh, we, it might we, be we, advantage to you. It might be. I don't know. We'll see. I just know that my tow truck's been working for, you know, 12, 13 14 years. Almost. 14 years. How do you know that? Because tow truck's a year older than me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget. We'll be heading out after she turns 13. Right after her birthday is when we'll be heading out there. Yeah. I was in Utah at 11, I was in Utah at 12, and I'll be in Utah at 13. Wow. So, what are you saying? Uh, you you got to plan some trips to Utah, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go in 14, 15, 16, 17, and That's then you just keep saying. going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that you got to get this pattern going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that, that how that works? Yeah. I got to keep going until I die. Okay. Well, Blake, you up for going to Utah again in March? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. We're doing it. We're, We're in. Going to Utah. We're going to Utah. <laughs> So I, I'm here with the BSF recovery team 
And Eric would like to check in with you on something coming up that's pretty special. Well, we just got a golden ticket from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. We're going to be part of the uh, Off-Road Record Games. Check it out. Oh, nice. So I'm thinking I kind of need a little bit of help uh, with somebody that's a little more familiar with the terrain out there uh, than I am. So I was wondering if you want to be my spotter for the games. I would love to try and find you the best amount of traction we can with that old girl. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Way to go, trail son. <laughs> so save the dates, uh, March 9th, 10th, and 11th. Got it. Okay. Well, we'll meet you out in Utah and see if we can show them other tow truck guys a thing or two. I'll see you out here. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Trail Son. Bye, Thanks. <laughs> well, what a deal. We get to go to the off-road wrecker games. You know, when I built the wrecker 14 years ago and started doing recoveries, putting them up on YouTube, I never dreamed that it would take me to where we are today. To be part of an event called the off-road wrecker games, and all these YouTubers that are going to be there, kind of like, uh, kind of like Comic Con for the YouTubers. So don't miss out. Go to Matt's Off Road Recovery Adventures and get your tickets today. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you in Utah. <laughs>